Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So I get a lot of questions about set expressions and how to use them. So um, let's see how we can use set expressions to limit our sales to one particular field. For example, now I only want my KPI to show sales for Germany and how I could use a set expression to do that. And then I want sales only for Germany and USA. So how to set this ex set expression for that and how to say, hey, um, I want to see everything minus USA and Germany. This is super basic. Uh, just dipping our toe in the water here just a little bit. Um, if you're interested to learn the basics of set expression, stick around. So I have a filter pane here. So what I've done is I've, I have chosen a filter pane and I've taken three dimensions and these are the three dimensions that I'm going to be using here and um, this is where I want to do my calculations for example I want to see calculations based on either city or country or division so first things first let's drag and drop a KPI and let's do the first thing as just our sales so we want to see sales um, so I have a field called sales I'm gonna use that I'm gonna say sum of sales and this is 34.97 so this is for everything now let's copy this uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste and let's say here I want this KPI to show me only the sales for Germany so how do we do that um, one way of course is when we make a selection the total sales should change right so if you go to country and say show me for Germany so it should show you 8.2 but let's say that you want it as default well that's where set expression comes into your rescue so I'm just gonna name this as and over here now let's delete our measure and let's create a new measure shall we so Every time you have a set expression, the first thing is you're doing a set expression based on an aggregate. So it could be sum, it could be count, it could be max, whatever. Uh, it could be average. Yeah. So it's based on a particular aggregate. So in our case, we want it to be sum. And now, of course, you always put sum in brackets. What is the sum of? Well, sum of sales, right? That's what we want over here. So this is sum of sales and this is nothing but our total sales. So how do we change this to only calculate for our field that is country? And um, that is where we start with our set expression. So this is our basic. First one, we open we start with this open and close for flowery bracket. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. So open and close because of course um, you're enclosing something inside this. And so this is your basic. This is how you how it starts. And this is end. So basically you're telling ClickSense that, hey, this is the start of your set expression. This is where the set expression ends. Now, what is the field that we want to s limit our sales to? The field is called country. So I'm going to say the set expression where country, that is my field, is equal to flowery bracket again. And I'm going to say, since it's a string, I need to put it denote that it's a string inside this I want to say country is equal to Germany make sure that it's spelled correctly so so essentially what we're saying is hey I want the sum of sales but only where the field country is equal to Germany and here it says now it's 8.2 and let's see if it's correct so here we have our total sales and when we make a selection in the field country to Germany, our total sales is going to be limited to Germany, which should be equal to what this particular KPI is showing without us making any selections. 
right? This is showing this by default. So let's go to our country and say Germany. And total sales is now 8.2 and our KPI is also showing 8.2. So this by default is showing us for Germany. So here we could say this KPI is nothing but our sales Germany. Nice. What if you want two fields? For example, not just Germany, let's say Germany and USA. Now I've made two field selections in our country and the total sales is 13.23. Sales for Germany is 8.2. So let's create another KPI. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it. And here I'm gonna go in and say, you want to add another field, right? So since it's the field is still under country, I just want to add an, an extra um, country here. I'm just going to say you can do that by a comma and then adding the next one that you want. That's it. Super simple. So here what I'm saying is country is equal to Germany and USA. And then I wanted to sum the sales. So let's click on apply and 13.23. That's exactly what our total sales is showing. But there is one particular issue here. So now let's say this is showing Germany and USA. This is showing Germany, right? Let's say we select a different country, Argentina. It is 474. That's what our total sales is. Now let's say a country, a city here. And I'm going to say Aachen. In this case, Aachen is actually inside Germany. So it's still, the country is still Germany. So it's making the selection here, 7 to 1. And if I actually select a different city, which is not inside Germany or not inside Germany and USA, let's see what happens. Let's click on Barcelona and you see here, the sales becomes zero. So what we want these two KPIs to do is by default, it's calculating Germany, but regardless of what other selections I make, because let's say that I want to choose a different country here or a city just to see the total sales. I want these two KPIs to remain exactly the same. So how do I do that? Well, you already have a set expression here, which is limiting country to Germany. Now, what we also need to say is, here i want the sales to only be germany and also if i if you make a selection in city and division i want you to ignore it and that's essentially what we're saying here so sales should be germany and then whatever selection is made in the other two fields here that is the division and city just ignore it so how do we do that well we have country is germany so this is the end of one expression that we are giving here so in order to add an extra one, all you need to do is a comma. And I'm going to say city, that's my other field, is equal to and division is equal to. That's it. So essentially what I'm saying is I want the country to be Germany. But if any selection is made in city, ignore it. Division, ignore it. Let's click on apply and let's do the same here. So this is the end of my first and then I'm going to say and if city is equal to and division. And here I'm going to say apply. And now let's see again if I click on Barcelona, which is not in Germany. Last time it was zero here and zero here. But now if I click on city nothing changes here perfect that's exactly what we wanted because we want these two to always show uh, sales for germany and sales for germany and usa now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another kpi and here we're gonna say hey in this kpi take all the countries but show us without germany and usa so we could say here this is sales others we want it to show the sales for all except Germany and USA. And how do we do that? Well, again, 
Let's go into our set expression. And here we have country is Germany and USA. We're going to say country minus Germany and USA. So now what's going to happen is it's going to take in all countries minus Germany and USA. But here's a little caveat. So in this case, it's going to take all countries. If you select a different country, then it's not going to accept it. So this is this is essentially taking all countries regardless of selection. Let's say that you want this country field to take the selection into consideration. For example, let's say you selected a particular country and from that country you want it to mine you want to minus what's the sales for Germany and USA. In that case, you're going to remove the minus here and you're going to put the minus before the equal to sign. So minus si minus sign before the equal to means that you're going to take the selections into consideration. Minus sign after the equal to sign means that you're not going to take any selections into consideration. Instead, you're going to take all countries and then minus Germany and USA. So I'm going to, in our case, we're going to do that. And now other sales is 21.73. So if you do the math, if you minus 34.97 and 13.23, you should get 21.73. That's the sales for all other countries except Germany and USA. So I hope you learned something. I hope this was interesting. Um, that we're just barely getting into set expression. It's going to be really interesting. I'm going to put out a bunch of videos on set expressions. It is so powerful. I mean, you can like really elevate your click game uh, with set expressions. So I hope you learned something. Would really, really appreciate if you left a like. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Write down in the comments what you want. Yeah. Have a good one. Peace.